I'm Peter with ProLifeNews.tv, and I'm with David B. Wright and Ruby Nickdow. We're here at the Falls Church 40 Days for Life location. This has uh, been uh, quite a while now. It's a halfway point for the 40 Days for Life rally. Uh, what have you seen so far quickly around the country that has inspired you perhaps to keep going and encourages others to keep going? Well, during these 40 days, we have people of faith and conscience in 179 cities in 47 states, two Canadian provinces, one American territory that are all joined together for 40 days of prayer and fasting to end abortion, 40 days of peaceful vigil outside of abortion facilities like this one here in Falls Church, and 40 days of grassroots educational outreach. We have seen tens of thousands of people involved in this campaign already this fall across North America, and we already have confirmed reports of 221 children that are spared from abortion during the first half of this campaign. The stories are just pouring in faster than we can even keep up with. It is such a blessing to see how God is at work, and we're so encouraged to see what is going to happen in the second half of this campaign. That's miraculous. I love hearing this hundreds of people being saved. And Ruby, you uh, had some experiences too with a number of women going to seek counseling right about now. What's been happening? Yes, um, well, just last Saturday we did have a turnaround, but we don't know for sure. I mean, we just know that she was going out. The guy was dropping her off here. He didn't know the reason why. She was going to the ATM machine across the street. And I believe that she was there for an abortion because they like cash up front. So I talked to him. I didn't approach her in 7-Eleven. I thought it might scare her. So I talked to him and I said, you know, you have got to get her out of here. Whatever you do, do not drop her here. And I can talk to her from far away. Well, what he did is he ended up taking her to the garage and another counselor saw them and they said they never got out of the car and then all of a sudden they, they just drove away and drove far, and we never saw them the rest of the day. So we believe it was a turn, definitely a turnaround. The woman's life was saved and the baby's life was saved. So. And what about at the CPCs near here? Yeah, the CPCs has just been a great blessing. I would not have not have known had I not invited Dolores from A Women's Choice to come out here to participate in this prayer with um, David and um, uh, priest for life, but she told me, Ruby, she goes, you will not believe it, you know, the ring, the phones have been ringing off the hooks, there's been 18 women coming in for pregnancy tests, she goes, 70% were abortion-minded, and 60% of those have been turned around, so I was just in awe, and just in tears, because the Holy Spirit is working, and we don't even know it, had I not called her, I would not have known. So that is truly the, the best blessing ever. You know, this is the opportunity right now to come close down your local abortion mill, to save the women, to change their hearts. And if you're not here, they're not going to see you. I mean, you can pray at home, but they won't see you pray here. And praying here is what's changing the hearts of the women. So we believe that prayer is good everywhere, but coming here, the women see you. You are the sign. You are standing in for Christ. So come out, um, call your friends pray for an hour or two you won't believe I mean it's amazing that when you have people come out here for an hour they're spending more hours they're spending three to five hours out here so I am just blessed to see that you know that the, the people are making the sacrifices great how do people find out about it here in Falls Church maybe they want to come out and pray what do you tell them where do you tell them to go well we tell them to go to www.40daysforlife.com and go to their nearest location so if they go to Virginia There'll be four sites, so I encourage everybody to go to the, the, the closest one because you'll go there more frequently. The reason that this 40-day time frame is so significant, when you read through biblical history, you see time after time when God wanted to bring about transformation in the lives of His people or in nations or even throughout the world. Many times He did it during a 40-day period. The most important thing is for people to recognize that we have a narrow window of opportunity in the fall of 2008 to literally shape history. And I would invite people to prayerfully discern how they can make a life-saving difference, to pray and fast, to participate in these vigils wherever they're nearest to, and also to participate in grassroots educational outreach. And I really believe that we're making this year a critical year, a tipping point year, that will forever be remembered as the year that was the beginning of the end of abortion. Let's shape history together. Thank God, and I'm glad I'm here to be a part of it. Amen. And for those of you out there watching this, be a part of it. 40daysforlife.com. Get involved.